Dr. Cy Shirtliff. We're in Moralton, Arkansas. We built this clinic in 1997, so we've been here over 20 years. The greatest vaccine program in the world will fail, you know, if those animals are being challenged by parasites. It's such a stress on the immune system that you're not gonna get a good vaccine response. Being in Arkansas, we're a real mild climate. We don't have long winters. Our summers tend to be warm and humid. And we have lush pastures most of the time of the year. It's, it's a really good environment for parasites to thrive. Our parasite transmission season lasts all the way, probably up until December. So these cattle and these young calves are starting to graze at that time and they're picking up parasites. Well, of course, adults are probably gonna be more immune to, to parasites, but when we put them in you know, situations where they're stressed, like nursing calves through the winter time, we will see clinical parasitism in adults. So we still see a lot of clients that uh, are using generics, things like that, where we're checking stool samples and we, they just don't seem to be very efficient. So we use Valvazin as a drench. We see some unthrifty cattle that don't seem to be responding maybe to warmers as well. And we'll, we'll do some fluke finder and, we, and we, we find quite a bit of flukes in the area. And we get that variability with the uh, Valvazin, you know, to kill tapeworms, flukes, and things like that. You know, Ostertagia, I, I, I think it's still our most common parasite we see. Uh, we do see some pomoncus, nematodirus at times. You know, I want to make sure that that product is in the cattle. So I, I'm, I'm going to probably recommend an injectable over a poron most of the time. Typically we use Dectamax as injectable. So we get a really good kill on our most common species of worm. So, so that's my recommendation right now. For us in this clinic, it, it's, parasite control is, is the cornerstone of our herd health program.